Extra. Affinity Extra. Be Extra. Hey ladies and gentlemen, hi I am Blue and welcome back to 7 Sharp, that's right we have returned uh, in 2024, so how are we doing? Uh, I say that because uh, the last time we did a show it was 2023 me and Roger and obviously the background was very different, we had the trees, the local cats. That was the fake summer you know bro, eh? that was the fake summer, remember it started nice, it's like it's, it we could nice. do, you, yeah. you, you, you could do this you know. I mean, someone's dead after oh, mate, If you go back to the shows, you'll see there was like short weather. Then we started putting on some anoraks and then it was like, oh, they there's, 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 there's no more shows, man. Like, well, go on. It's like, yeah, welcome back to England. You know what I mean? Like, we need one of them lockdown summers, man. But Amen. yes. <laughs> Amen. But hi, welcome. You know how we do this already, Seven mm. Sharp. Uh, first of all, we do not apologise for what comes. Uh, we just got to bring the point straight and facts. And of course, one of the subjects we like to discuss is uh, around relationships, around men, around women, and just how to make society better, really. But there's uh, one that we're going to start on this week. Um, he's been very popular in the uh, social medias and online. Uh, there's an amazing... Um, is it a podcast he does? It's not really even a podcast, is it? It's a... Uh, Bro, it's it's technically a podcast, bro. But um, <laughs> it's, just, it's, like, it's just blown up, bro. It's just, it's unfair. It, it's like one of the ones where you you had that cheat code, you know? You, yeah. You, you develop it up, and it's like it, a, it's a TV a, it's, show. No, but it's, it's a podcast, bro. It's a it's a video podcast. But like, you see how we got it here, yeah? Mm. All it is is that they just got a chair. Uh, comfort yeah. chair. It is what we do here, bro. It is do what we do here. But they just got a bit. They got a bit more higher production. Yeah, they have the stronger yeah, microphones yeah, yeah. and a lot of alcohol that because they always maybe we should start busting our own kind of Schler. communion juice right here. Yeah, yeah, Schler, it? yeah man. Yeah, like, yo, some... Schler, yo, 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 the suppliers with unlimited Schler, we can make it work. Yeah. I don't even mind even like, having Schler, like grape juice or grape juice, know, Ribena. I, I tell you who we should really be shouting out to, Go two on. of my absolute favorites. <laughs> I can't believe you're going like this. We're, 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 I know we just to start here, but when you get me on here, this is how it happens. For those that know me, I think we should have super moat, super please be one of our sponsors bro that's an show. unhealthy drink bro that, no they've got, if, if, got reduced sugar no, but, but, careful bro, what you say because you're going to mess up our sponsorship okay cool sorry sorry okay. sorry, sorry. So, so super um, moat it's in the black community and asian community so you all know what it's about <laughs> nah, no substitutes <laughs> if you actually, want you know what? i'll take any moats he said man i remember i um my um, missus um she's got this app where it t- tells you what what food's good and what oh, yeah. chemicals and it gives you from zero to be really bad yeah, to 100 so, oh, uh, okay. to, so if it's too much sugar got chemicals that are wrong yeah. for you it'll be zero guess where supermarket was minus one <laughs> <laughs> one off bro is zero the, 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 the app is broken when it comes yeah, to okay. supermarket my wife does the same thing and, and sometimes oh, I'm she's, like, she's like that. she does man but then I'm like how come you can't use the app when it comes to your planting <laughs> I'm just saying I'm just Yo, saying just use avocado oil Uh Oh, you mean? Uh, uh, <laughs> so, I'm just giving people good advice. Like, av- av- avocado. Or, I tell you what, we get Costco to sponsor us, bro. <laughs> you know what? I'll take that still. Yo, I'll yeah. Take that. No, Costco. Is, be, no, Costco. Costco, Costco no. if you want to come down here and, and, and get a sunny ever, we but, can put your name right down there. Listen, bro. As long, right as, I got a, as, long as I can get in through the back row entrance, I'm happy because yeah. it's always got a queue, bro. <laughs> Trust me, go in the opposite direction. Oh, well, but yes, thing, guys, so thing. as you know, we just like to talk about all different kind of things and we keep it lighthearted at the same time with uh, nuggets and diamonds of truth in there. But uh, yeah, so we're talking about none other than uh, the man with the with the sister's name, Shannon Sharp. And uh, he's blowing up at the moment. Cat Williams, Shay absolutely. Shay Shay. <laughs> Shay Shay. You know what I mean? You're going to grow, man. Shay Shay, you know. But yeah, so... Um, With big guy, you know. Yeah, I know. He's, he's, when the guys say, is your name a good... Like, what yeah, are you talking about? Nah, <laughs> he, he would turn your arm into avocado oil like with one grips up. He's the kind of brother, if he goes to church and uh, people pray for him, it's the whole crowd that has to hold him just in case he goes down. He's in that. He's the brother where... He's like your dad. Yeah. <laughs> and he's imagine the beat. When, when, he says, when, when, when he goes, son, <laughs> you yeah. know, you, you know what son means, bro. Well, one beating from him would have kind of like <laughs> sent your spirit straight to heaven. So, <laughs> so yes, yeah, so Shannon Sharp, as he's, he's more fit, he's been doing it for the longest time. But I think mm. what really propelled him even more to success was his interview with none other than uh, Cat in the Hat, aka Cat Williams. And of course, from there, he's just continued to grow. But 
one uh, of the shows that he did more recently that got our ears kind of before you go back too fast about but food past cut cut with him sorry guys you know yeah. i just want to wish you as a comedian yeah, yeah. so blues a comedian you know don't get twisted yeah, man. Man. He, can, he can present he can present himself how did you feel as a comedian because i'm not a comedian i'm just a creative in the black space so i was like this yeah but you shoot them but as a comedian uh, you're coming up do you feel like yeah you liberated slow boys you know what i'm saying you know, or was it a case of oh man he's just told everybody yeah tricks <laughs> copy each everybody each other you, you know what it is i mean i've i've um i've loved comedy from from young i mean i got to sneak in uh, the house when i was about seven or eight and watch delirious and from then i've been hooked it's been comedy has been my drug yeah seven or eight i was watching delirious um i didn't even know what some of the words he was talking about where but anyway so for me to kind of like see comedy evolve mm. and to see so much of these different comedians that's why i said cat in the hat because a lot of people don't even know that Cat Williams was called Cat in the Hat until more kind of got blown up. So to hear what he did on the show, I'm going to be honest with you, it didn't shock me because he's been doing it for his whole career. It's one of his things that he does and mm. everyone knows him for mm. where he's, he's one of them kind of bedrooms where you're chilling with him and you're thinking to yourself, I know he's not here just because he wants to be social. Yeah, yeah, He's yeah. taking an information. Yeah. And I don't know when that's going to come out. Yeah, yeah. And you're lucky he doesn't go to your church. Because if Cat Williams did go to your church, I'm just saying, you might not have a praise and worship team or, or a church. The musicians, they don't know and musicians, like, <laughs> but you won't have no drummer. Yo. You know what I'm saying? They won't have no drummer boy out there, You'd bro. Like, the drummer boy get, get, his, get, his, get, his, get, his, get his plaques get, 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 get cut off, you, you know, know what they like, say? No thought, Samson, bro. No I, Samson. Be like, I thought that brother did look like the deacon. But anyway, <laughs> so, <laughs> I ain't got a deacon on my church. Yeah, I can say that. He said, but, <laughs> but yeah, so when he did that. Moms. <laughs> Sorry, 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 just some situations. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, man, so when he did it, he was like, oh, you know what? It's not a shocker. Mm. Like, it was expected. Mm. But um, he did well. He did well. And I think people like to hear kind of like gossip and all that kind of stuff. And in fairness, for some of it, he didn't say nothing that we were too shocked about. Mm. However, we will do, and I'm saying this from now, we will do a show on the controversy of TD Jakes. Because yo, yo, wait, 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 wait. Oh. you know what? I'm, I'm not against, and I'm not for. I've always said I think he's one of the most brilliant and most strongest motivational speakers yeah, you man. ever yeah, man. get. Like yeah, man. he's motivational, hands speaker. down. I don't care what controversy you're gonna put on him. He's an amazing motivational speaker, and if you're deflated and you put him on, I dare you to kind of walk away and not feel a bit elevated. Okay. Yeah. 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 Hundred percent. Church messages though. Yeah. A little bit different. I'm just saying for me, personally, yeah, for yeah, me, yeah. there's a bit like... Uh, I'm not a TD Jakes fan anyway. You know, I'm not that guy that, that sits out there and we've got all his books at home. You know what I'm saying? I, yeah. like, I, like, I like what he does. I like the way he comes across. Um, but I'm just maybe just been in church too long and I just know how it go. You know what I'm saying? You know, yeah. Yeah, you know, it's when you just know how it go. When, you, when these things happen, it was at a PDD party and you go... What party was it? You know, before it was that point, and I said, "Didn't I see you at that party?" <laughs> I, I think that's where the controversy went for a minute. Yeah, cool. Like, yeah. the certain places you don't go. I've got, we've all got friends yeah. who are like, "Yo, you're either invited and you kind of have to decline and be like, you know, you're not." My friends don't even invite me, bro. But they know yeah, why yeah, because yeah, they know yeah, your lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? You know, they like yeah. say, they all, they say, "Yeah, why just yeah." When somebody, I remember somebody said said years ago, and never forget, he was in the was in the football team, and um and um one of the Christian guys. I said, eh, when the when the when the Reggie's the yard man go, oh, let me see your club last night in Dudley, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and then guy goes, eh. and when it, when they go, and when, they, when one guy goes, oh, what about Roger? He goes, no, 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 no. Roger, you not see him in no club. Yeah. But you see, you see him, in, you see him at club. <laughs> <laughs> and you get it. I remember, yeah, yeah, I remember yeah, yeah, my yeah, yeah. my youth days. I was in Rat and Parrot. If you don't know if you remember Rat and Parrot, guys, but I, I was up in there. And people were like, but don't you go to church though? <laughs> and I'm like, uh, yeah, mind your business though. <laughs> but you know what? That's why it's the controversy, man, yeah, because there's certain places yeah. you shouldn't be going to. Now, as a grown man, <laughs> yeah, yeah. if someone said to me, do you want to come around and parrot now? I'd be like, brother. It's, I, that, I got, it's not like, me. It's not, it's not the show. I'm watching the chase. I'm trying to I'm, 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 I'm catch up. I ain't got time for that. Mm -hmm. So, so <laughs> yeah, man. So, yeah, we are going to do a, a TDJ show. Yeah, okay, cool. We're cool, cool, going cool, back cool. onto the Shannon one. Okay, though. cool. Yes, cool. So, he did a show. Mm with a uh, a young lady, mm -hmm. she's only 31. Mm -hmm. So very young lady, well, youngish, uh, with a lot of experience and a lot of hands in, in so many things. So she's a social media superstar, mm. so to say. She's an actress, I've never watched another of her shows. Yeah. She's an author, app yeah. developer, all the rest of this stuff. Mm -hmm. 
goes by the name of Brittany Renner. Now, the reason it's important for me to kind of talk about her age and the kind of things that she's done is because she's achieved a lot of things for someone at 31, a really good net worth, um, a net worth of, of finance bringing in, a caliber of different um, things that she's doing, like acting, modeling, blah, blah, blah. To kind of be on a shay shay, you've got to have to done something significantly well, unless you've just got some good gossip. Mm-hmm. Now, she's gone onto the show as a single young lady and kind of dropped, not a Cat Williams bomb, but a bomb where I think for you and me, you as well, Raj, we're mm. both like, that's not okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that, yeah. That's not okay. And yeah. then the problem is, it's not really on her, but because we've heard it so often, it's almost a trend of we're hearing this regular and regular and regular. And let me play the bit of a clip to kind of explain what's regular. So you guys have a look at this and you see, tell me what you think. Even Roger does that magic on his screen. Do you see something appear? Mm-hmm. And, and yeah, with the with the good old YouTube-ish. Let, let, he, here's what she said. And I do hope you find, I think everybody deserves that if they're wanting of that. And it seems to me, as I sit here and talk to you, that you are someone that's very passionate about finding love. And I think the thing is, is that that person knows who you are. They know yeah. some of the things that you've done. So that person that wants to be with Brittany Renner, they're gonna know who, what, what she's done, and be okay with that. Yeah. Do you think it's hard for that? Is it hard for an athlete? Because uh, athletes are very prideful, and they, and I, and I, and, and don't take this the wrong way, but they kind of like that's mine. And to know that that package has been unwrapped by somebody else <laughs> on multiple occasions. It doesn't sit well. With, I'm just, I'm, I'm gonna keep it one. You say keep it. Okay, blue. Just in case you got some novices out there, what does that mean? What, what's he referring to? Unpacking. <laughs> Unpacking. Because <laughs> because China's kind of like make it sound kind of like uh, cryptic, you know? You know yeah. What I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it, it's not. A, it's not a buy and resell from Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> just, just in case you're sitting in there thinking, oh, if someone brought a package, you didn't like that package, so you gave it back. Yeah. No, we're talking multiple partners. So multiple partners, it means mm. of you've been sexually or in a relationship with somebody. It's not even all. Uh, it, uh, yeah. You know, she's talking about, you know, together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah and let's be honest, let's be keep it real. There's not a lot of people that's going to find a partner who hasn't had a relationship in, of some sort, whether it be sexual, whether it be romantic, whether mm. it just being together. Most people don't find somebody uh, out of the womb, through school, through college, boom, we're together. Not a lot. It happens to some, not a lot. So, so you know, so it's a diamond. So, so you have to, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So, but but at the same time. How far do you go? You have to be realistic with the numbers. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. But so, the thing is you can date 35 people, but not go as far as a she gun. Well, they didn't even know that. Okay, cool. Oh, you let the cat out of the bag. What? No, no, no. One second. You, what, the thing is, you're explaining the packaging. You, what's the, pa- the package? So the package... You, you're trying to kill... So, you need nah. to explain, because what if I don't know what a package is? All right, cool. So the yeah. package is, if you've been sleeping with multiple partners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, for yeah. instance, and this, this is... Because remember, they can't key, see their face. Doesn't yeah. get to see their face. And the thing is what made me laugh before we even get to the part was he said she's searching for love. You're not. You, you, you're not. <laughs> You know what I mean? Because if you, you know what it reminds me of? This reminds me of, and you got to be a certain age to remember this. Remember when you could have, you can open cereal boxes. Yeah. Like cornflakes, all them kind of things. Yeah. And you, you, you look, you brought that cereal box because yeah. as you shoved it up and yeah, man. the little you, toy you, would drop yeah, out. Yeah, man. You know, yeah. The Lord of the Rings toy. You yeah. know what I mean? She Never went, ending story toy. Yeah, yeah, she went to the cash life. and carry and brought a lot of them boxes and went through a lot she of those packages. Yo, yeah, she, she wanted the dollhouse. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, and dash it in the bin, innit? That's, 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 that's the same word of bin. Just get a new one. So I think Shay Shay was wrong where he said you're searching for love because I think searching for love is a person here or there or whatever. And so, and, and before we get there, if you know Blue, you, me, you know this. I'm not a respectful person. So when you say oh, it's all right for you to sit down there and judge, no, because we're coming to a point actually. Because sometimes mm. you need to say certain. Okay, and there's a generation of us. Oh uh, yeah, uh, don't uh, do uh, me. Yeah, older yeah. parents that are passing away who used to tell you as it is. Daughter, put down your skirt. I hope you look. <laughs> and we used to think, rah, she is rude. Yeah, yeah, but, but, she, but it's true. She had morals. You know what I mean? When they used to come mash up the table. Yeah. You used to say to us, boy, pick up your trousers. That's you know where you know where it come from. Though. Yeah. <laughs> making them be too I, 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 I got passion. You I got that. passion at there. Them drink <laughs> you know of water. Saying? Yeah, man. But yeah, man, like, you know, they, they tried to give us nuggets of wisdom yeah. and knowledge. And we didn't listen. And now yeah. you want to sit down here and be vexed because... You can't find a good man. You're searching for love. No guy's gonna want you when you've got 
A lot of miles? Who buys a car when they've got over 400,000 miles on the car? I'll wait. All right, cool. Well, let's see the rest. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's now. Anyone who's a novice out there, you've got the context of what's going to happen. Package yeah, is. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, cool, cool. You know what I'm saying? And you have to open the package and take the parcel. Anyway, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> one hand, I'm going to keep one up with you. But then you have to go back to when there was the Derek Jeter diamond. That's what my track record's like. But Derek Jeter gets a segment on ESPN where they have his dating history in the, let me finish though. No, I, I ain't saying nothing. You were thinking it. I you were thinking it. I'll get some water because so, I'm sweating it. Because my dating pool is, I mean, my Expansive. God. Impressive, expansive. I've had sex with 35 guys. Okay. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. <sighs> she said it like it's normal, bro. I know. Like, do you want some mint tea? Yes, please. We've been the same, bro. And then laughed about it, but that's an uncomfortable laugh. You okay? Is that uncomfortable laugh? If you look look at the body language and how she's kind of posed herself, like, you know. But the problem is, I, I, I play a bit more, then you'll see why I say that. Woo. Oh Lord! <laughs> and sorry, the person that she's speaking about that she said that so so's got a record. That's a man in it. That's a man. So Derek Jeter yeah. is a baseball player. Mm. Um, differences between her and him, if you're good at maths, is he's 49, she's 31. <laughs> I'm just saying, and the people might be like, "Oh, that doesn't mean any difference." They're coming from two different timelines of generations where certain things happened. Yeah. And you know what I mean? So she's coming from what, 1987, 1980? Yeah. Not even 1987, is it 90s? Nin in the 90s? Nin 90s, my 90s, yeah. She's a, so she's a, she's a, she's a, she's a 112 mm -hmm. kind of jagged edge kind of, mm -hmm. yeah. In meet me at the altar world. kind of, she's got no excuse. You know what I mean? You had like, yeah. I'm every woman and jagged edge thing. That, that was your upbringing yeah, yeah, music. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you yeah. should know better. <laughs> he had, this is a man's world. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. So. Let's just say that. Let's just say no. that. I know that Elvis Presley. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm nothing but a hound dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll say. But anyway, you're right. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> What's that, man? Trying to, trying to he had like, to drink a juice. Bro, bro, he juice. had to drink a juice. By the way, but, but, it's not super malt. Just want to say, guys, you're not in everywhere, but sponsor us. It's, it's, it's fermented fruit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Highly fermented, yeah. you know, with a few little bit of blue powder. Yeah. He took some juice, man. Pepto Bismol. Impressive isn't Woo. the word. So if I'm judged for Anybody having. Anybody else need a shot of this? If I'm judged for having great taste. We are in the bar, so help yourself. <laughs> <laughs> we got this for the next hour. But the joke is, bro, you know what the joke is? Let me ask you a question this though, yeah? He's not a Christian. Yeah. Yeah. And even and, he knows. Is it, is it, and he's a man. Yeah. Yeah, is it male Christian who we know who's probably got a body count higher than that? Let's be real, you know, say as a sports person, and you know what I mean. Yeah, you know, you know and he's he's in his fifties, man. So his body count's gonna be high. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. he's not he's not going like he, he said, mate. I mean, only had because when you have when you got a low body count, yeah. you would break even if, if you're gonna load it over the person. But he's going as a young, yeah. But I think, and you know what it is, and maybe maybe because our expectations on women, men and women are different in terms of. Back then, no, nah, I'm not even going to go back then. I think for him, he's embarrassed by that. And you know, the thing is, I've noticed the difference between like guys and what she's saying is, yeah. I've known a lot of guys who I assume have a high body count. We know they've got a high body count because yeah, they're nasty. Yeah. <laughs> but they've got a big body count, but they have never gone and labelled it and been like, yo, bro, I've been like bloody. The way you know sometimes is, oh, how much you you got? I'm like, I probably got about 22. <laughs> oh, bro, you're a busy man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you're yeah, a yeah, busy yeah, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But... Never have I ever heard some of the guys bragging about, yo, I've been on like 200 gals, them and, you know, no rubber and this, that. Like, I've not heard that. Not often. But the thing is, when I'm looking at YouTube, they kind of talk like, we do talk like that. I think there's a bragging rights about, there's been a lot of people sleeping with. Yeah, but, but no, 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 nobody knew, nobody knew. Nobody knew like, no, 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 no. <laughs> they weren't taking numbers for the lottery. Like, like, uh, what's your number 31? How about you 20? Like, no one took numbers. It was just, yeah, man, like bag of women. And it was like, all right, cool. Now, unfortunately, we lived in a society. We live in a society where it was kind of expected, like, ah, oh, well, you were pretty boy, you know what I mean? Like, maybe, mm. you know what I mean? That's not excusing it, but mm. we had that kind of stuff. And I think the danger we've have with things like this is she is an influencer, so she's a young lady. 
He was influencing a lot of, and the mindset. A lot of young the, ladies? Yeah, a lot of young ladies at the moment already, their mindset is already, um, get what you can get, or you know, you only live once, all the rest of that kind of thing. For her to kind of brag about 31 men, to brag you got, about- you got, you got teenager girls coming through now, and, yeah. and, 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 and feeling that that's legit. And this is how it should be, like it's standard, like, and what? Let me you look pretty I mean? and just put it out there. Uh, but, you, but look at what happened is, because he's turned around, and he didn't know this information. I got a feeling that if he did know this prior, his lead up to that question would have been different. Because remember, he started off by saying, you're looking for love, you're searching. So he's kind of giving you this kind of, she's a pretty young lady who's looking for no. the right guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then she's come off with, I've had 31 guys. And then he's gone, let me drink some juice. 35. Was it 35? Yeah. Oh, I see. She's 31. <laughs> no so she's, she's slept with more men than her child, than her age. Yeah. So that, that's one a year of her life. Quick maths right there. And uh, so he's embarrassed by that. And <laughs> I've been embarrassed by that I'm, well. I'm embarrassed right now. Dude. I'm like, he's almost got red cheeks, bro. You like, know what? Yeah, I'm yeah. not even embarrassed for her. I'm sad for her because mm. you're not looking for love and you're not looking for a, a real relationship because I think if any guy was in a... Most guys are insecure. And I, I'll just put the cat out of the bag. A lot of guys are insecure, particularly when it comes to their relationship. If you've got... She's a pretty young lady. Mm. So if you're thinking to yourself, all right, if I get in a relationship with this lady mm. and she's had... 35 guys mm. it means she's unsettled she's unstable mm. she's i wonder how the scenario went and as guys we sometimes play in our head yeah, yeah. they smooth her and yeah, kind of do yeah, finesse yeah, her and then yeah. this happened so if i'm in a relationship with this girl mm. am i going to be enough if i'm in a relationship with this girl mm. is someone else going to be able to kind of and that means there's 35 guys we have to avoid who's our ex so if we're living in the same area there's 35 guys out there walking past that we know of that we could walk past and I see him and then I've got to be kind of be defensive of this is my girl. And that guy could be kind of wow. be like, had wow, your girl. Right. Let's, let's, let's not unpack that one because that could get impacked into many areas. Well, well, bro. Let's you know chop saying, it up now, bring it to the kitchen. You know what I'm saying? Because like, you know, when men are, men are, people are having affairs and they're in, in that same person, you know, and they go to the same body of, of, of people, whether yeah. it's church, whether it's groupings, whether it's this, and you have to go back and see the person you messed about with your you, you, you ever half, bro? You know what I'm saying that's that, that's a struggle. One is a struggle, big, bro. A big struggle, yeah. You know what I'm saying, I and mean, also it's when you when you when your partner, you know what I'm saying, if your partner lies to you about who it is, yeah. and you don't know, it's like it's like it's like a bullet that's ready to pull at any time. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, and the man go, <clears throat> yeah, but match yeah. that, I match that, and you thinking, that's my missus. And he's like, oh, oh, like, like yeah. yeah. But you, you you almost have to brace yourself for that, like, bro, like, like, like that, like, that, like, yo, bro, uh, like. I, yeah. I, yeah, that hurts. I, I've, I've, I've thought guys it's embarrassing as well because the likelihood is yeah. everyone would know what she's about. So you can't bring her home for like for dinner or find your fellas because then fellas will be like, bro. Oh, you can't take her out. <laughs> yeah, like, like, <laughs> can't go yeah. see the man. See you, bed, you know. Yeah. Bro. Like, are you with her, bro? <laughs> for real. You must be one of them 36s then because. And the, and the worst thing, I don't think women realize your brethren will pull you up, bro, and say, yo. Girl from the streets, you know, blood. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I see it up on the streets, you know what I mean? So girls don't think you can just sneak out there because the man them 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 man it's not the chat, they just they're your bedroom. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. And, and and you know he's the worst thing is, and I mean, because I was thinking about this one and I was thinking, where did we go wrong? Not well, when I say which not my child, so I didn't go wrong with this one at all. But society though, where did we go wrong? Well, mm. we found this acceptable. That this is okay mm. you know what i mean like mm. had she been and again hopefully i don't get no fires for this one now mm. but had she been of a particular religion yeah um and went on there and said that she'd be out she man. would be back mash bench. up back bench bro. ah the bike. Bro. you said who Bro. You're brazen to go in there and talk about that. Wait till you get off this station. Bro, man. they cut Someone's her hair, blood, and she's going to have a hair afro like this, yeah. bro, man. It's all over the place. You look raggedy well, taggedy. Well, yeah. the, the, the. I, I think there's a community there. I would kind of like pull her in and be like, nah, that's not okay. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. You think yeah, you're yeah, going to talk yeah, to yeah, our women yeah, like that? Yeah. You're mad? Nah. Yeah. Like, mm -mm. I'm going to kind of like boycott you in my own home. Um, You know what I mean? And that's the problem we've got right there. And I think society wise is, I think we all played a part. Mm. Particularly, and because I, I was thinking, where does this all come from? Now, at first, I thought, does it come from like women growing up, particularly from the nineties? Mm. It was known that you know, if you were a lady, you were called the B word. We still use it now, mm. not we. I don't, but refer to ladies as B words. <clears throat> and then to look a particular way, mm -hmm. it was literally kind of 
dressed with less clothing. Mm-hmm. Those kind of girls were attractive. Mm-hmm. Nobody wanted the church girl because it was just kind of mm-hmm. no weave, hair put up in a bun, mm-hmm. kind of one of them military hats. Mm-hmm. You looked as plain as yesterday. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. so there was nothing there that was kind of like, a, ooh, there's no character, there's no excitement. These kind of ladies seem to have all the fun, find all the guys. So it kind of made it look attractive. And in order to have them kind of guys, you had to protect, you had to live a certain way, behave a certain way and kind of give up some dignity. And then I think that's kind of made a trend and a lifestyle. And now it's the norm. Where you're getting mm. more and more women, not a lot of women, and I don't say all you ladies are doing it, mm-hmm. but more and more women, women doing kind of things. Like at the moment, you, you've seen the stuff about baddies. Have you seen that one? I've heard that phrase. Mm. That's the phrase of, she's a bad girl. Oh, okay, 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 and, okay, and okay. she's And she's probably got a, a body count too. In fact, actually, one, one of the things, I remember um, doing some relationship stuff with some young guys. And uh, I was like, what kind of conversations do you guys have to kind of find out about them? Mm. And one of the boys was like, the first thing I ask is what her body count is. Mm-mm. I was like, I don't want to know. Yeah, but well. Body- why, why is that important? And straight away, they were like, yo, I need to know what their body count is. Because if their body count is like more than mine, then she's like you said, she's for the streets. Can't trust her. It means that she's 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 wild, and it well, means yeah. that we can be with her, but she can't be wifed. And it's like, so what did that mean then? He's like, well, you can be with her for a bit, but she can't be wifed, which means she's material for someone to play with, but never be serious with. That's like, these, that's, that's, and this is what these girls is, but it's, it's, it's complaining because I think you just open up some more things that like you're opening up because you're just opening up, bro. Yeah, you, 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 ah. you, you, you just go in. Woo, woo. If yeah. I'm judged for having great taste. Um, although someone like Derek Jeter, for example, who had his dating diamond. Why would you feel a need that you, you can be honest to yourself. I know how many men I slept with. That ain't for everybody else. But why did you feel you need, why did you feel that needs to be for public consumption? That's what, that's, that's, that, I mean, the crux of this. That's what I, you mind if I sit to the edge of my seat? <laughs> you don't gotta ask questions. Yeah, uncomfortable. Look at, look at the you, body why language. Why would you feel the need to share that information with the public? Some things hmm. are left best unsaid. Mm-hmm. That's what I hear. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Probably the same reason that I wrote a book, because I felt called to share. There are some things that maybe moving forward I would keep to myself, but I mean, I just told you I had sex with 35 guys. That's an updated number for people who have been following the number for years now. So, uh, let me just pause that one. <laughs> but it's like, yo. <laughs> no, let me just pause that one there. First of all, like Shannon had to sit close, like to be like, let me just really hear where you're going with this one. Yeah, he's uncomfortable. And then she was like, look his face. Yeah, look like, yeah, them lips are pumped, like, mm, if this was my daughter. daughter that's what I'm thinking. Of. <laughs> but yo, yo, bro, you didn't know, grab it in, bro. And yeah. who, the, who the sentence to you? I don't even know. Like, if this is my daughter, then you are going to be changed to Tom next week. <laughs> like, but, and, and again, I'm not here to judge her whole stuff, but the justification she gave, because somebody else brought out the diamond stuff. And because that's why she wrote the book. The man told you some things are left best and, and said, that's what I heard. Well, then, mm. But then why share? And then she shares it again. It's like, mm. this is important. This is an important number you need to know because of those who are following me needed to know the updated numbers. So she's updating her followers. You don't like, like it there. So, so if, if, if she sees her arms next to Charlie next week, she goes, Fair number 36, yeah. yeah. Bro, imagine if a girl calls it to you and says, oh, no, hey, bro, you're number... And everybody's looking at you going, you're 36, sir. Yeah. yeah. But the joke is... <sighs> and, the, and the thing is, there's going to be some guys that look at this and be like, I want to tap that. That's Aver- that's Everest. It, it, <laughs> it's And the reason... That, and they're not doing it because they find her attractive as such or because they like her. It's because it's a challenge. Actually, you know what? Ah, so to mean you're open for different things and you're not serious. You're not one of those ladies who take life serious and want to settle down and have kids and blah, blah, blah. You're just the one who wants some fun. Well, I can do that. But you're not wifey. <laughs> this is, and then he, and again, Shannon I has to I think she's see- got a child as well, hasn't it? She's got a son or something. Yeah. Yeah, well, uh, I'm going to be honest with you. She had 35 attempts, so she's had to have something. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Something got to come imagine, out. Imagine your mom, you go on YouTube later, like, when you go to school and your mom did some, yeah. Oh, but my my mom would have ordered a hitman. Uh, <laughs> uh, she would have got a hitman like a hitman and a, and one of them Bible warriors, and I would have got clapped up and then taken out. Like, mm-mm. 
No point sharing my surname. You better change your last name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 for real, for real. Yeah. It's like, yo, it's like, don't people think of implicate the, it's like today's society is all about me um what I, what I feel and not the implications of my children. And yeah. I, I am a children's children. Because this YouTube video, bro, it's not going nowhere. It's not, no, this is the rest imagine, of life. Im, bro, imagine, bro, your grandma, you, you press a video and this is your great grandma. Imagine you pressing your video and says, son, 10 years later, and he's like, mom, what number you are now then? Because <laughs> <laughs> this happened when I was eight. Like, you're like, like, and I've seen a couple of dads come through still. So like, everyone can't be uncle. <laughs> so, like, oh, what's the bro. Give me I, the lottery number. And bro. you know, you get killed at school if you if, uh, if you, was, you you were the son. If you if you if bro, if you was her son now going through school, and you know what though, and you, have you to fight think, every day, bro. Yeah, I would boss up everybody. Like, don't yeah, mention my mom's you, name. Uh, but but the, the sad thing is nowadays, and, and, and then the, uh, your friend's da dad would be trying to talk to your mom. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, you like, mean it's insecure, yeah. bro? Uh, if, like, some of the guys be like, do you go football on Saturday? Yeah, my mom takes me. <laughs> my son's yeah. playing football now. <laughs> yeah. You see a lot of moms taking their kids so, to football like, now. All, all the dads <laughs> trying to be like this. Oh, I'll, I'll give up everything I do on Saturday morning to take my son to football. <laughs> I just went to invite her to church. That's, all, that's the only reason why I went down there. Like, she seemed like she needed to see. But you know what though? There's a lot of women that are doing that. Like the amount of times you've seen pop up now, um, I'm an OnlyFans model. Mm. Like, what is that a job description now? How do you put that on your CV? You know what I mean? But uh, people are more open and brazen to talk about this kind of lifestyle, what they do. It's liberating, isn't it? Yeah, is, it is it feminism? Is it is this all part of Ooh, the feminism? Femini I, don't, I don't know if it's feminism. It's not feminism. It's, it, it's part of this so called feminism that, that's out there, which is liber liberation for women. Is it part of that liberation? I'm not saying it is. I'm not saying it's truth, yeah. truthful. But you know the liberalism that that's coming hitting through. Yeah. is people are liberal. liberal it's, it's 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 toxifying um, the, the the race equality movement. It's, it's, it's toxifying um, um, the race um, equality movement. Yeah. No, no, no race. I'm sorry. Um, sex equality is toxifying. And there's a modern approach, a hedonistic approach to these equality movements, which this is all part of. It just goes toxic. Oh, because that guy can do it, I'm going to do it as well. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I mean? and, yeah and it's a weak argument. Like, you, there's so much people that you can choose a competition to say, because they did this, I did it too. Like, no one says, ah, oh, because you know what, she was a great mother and looked after herself and respectfully, I'm going to do it too. But there's, there's an argument for that. Why can't you be one of the greatest and best? What, like, you know, why should you be like, you know what? I wanted to go make um, Michelle Obama my competition. Mm -hmm. She helped a man become a mm -hmm. great man mm -hmm. to run a country mm -hmm. and change so many lives. I'm going to do that better. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. There was yeah. arguments for everything. But you know what, though? And I mean, some people don't want to hear biblical truths and church truths. Bible says that in time to come, uh, people's hearts will grow cold and become lovers of themselves. And I think we're getting a lot of people nowadays um, wow. who are loving up themselves and want to show up themselves in a way of YOLO. You only live once and just do it right, not thinking to themselves. But there's repercussions throughout all of this. We joked and talked about how that impacts her child, how that impacts on her family around her. That is going to impact on her mental health as well because there's going to be one day where there's only so much you can do before you sit down and reflect on your life and be like, yo, what, what, what have I done with my life? Mm. I know when I hit 30, mm, mm. I remember kind of going through a mild depression. Mm. I'll put it out there where I was like, okay, cool. I'm at 30 now. When I do this again, you're mm. close to retirement age. Mm. What have I achieved? What have I done with my life? Mm. What am I proud of? What mm. am I kind of like? And the good thing for me was I was married. We had our first child. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of things that I would put in that I, we wanted mm -hmm. to kind of hit at a certain age mm -hmm. that we can kind of grow and develop and, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. At 31, because unless you've done 35 mans, oh, sorry, I got to get all them, but if, if, I'm, I'm sure 35 people was over a period of time. Mm. So she's at an age now of reflection of thinking, what am I doing with my life? 35 people to reflect. That's a lot of people nah, that you've got ready to. For the next, she's ready for part two, blood 35, bro. She's ready to hit 70, bro, but in the next 10 and they say life begins at 40, so Lord help her when she gets bro, like in, in nine more years. Okay. Ah. <laughs> Lord of mercy. Imagine you, you take this, you take her to your mom and you think, your mom, introduce her. And then when she leaves the room, your brother goes, mom, watch this. <laughs> you, you <laughs> your, mom, yeah, your mom's like, no, no, nah, no, 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 not for my baby. Not you, for you my baby. Of, she's the kind of woman that moms and guy and fathers, well, 
First of all, mum, mum's, mum's. We're like, you don't bring her around this house. Yeah, straight. Like straight. straight. You bring her around straight. this. In fact, you know what? I've got a couple of my friends whose friends' daughters are single. Uh, I'm ready. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, straight, straight. I'll, I'll straight. pay for the wedding. Straight. I'll even buy you a Bugatti. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just don't bring yesterday's that. news outside, yeah? <laughs> and then you got some dads who are like, son, you can do better still, but she's fire still, but. <laughs> <laughs> If you go, yeah. we, we understand, yeah. but you have to understand. <laughs> yeah. You know they say? And that, you probably got some nasty dads out there as well, like, oh, time for family holiday. Like, yeah. <laughs> me, son, and, my, and his, my son's son, we, we share this room and the wife can stop over there, like, yeah, dirty. <laughs> but you know what, yeah, though, yeah. again, and as much as we're joking about this, you know, something like this leads a statement. And I think because mm. she's pushed out so many times, 35 yeah. uh, men. And I think for me, again, it's the importance is be careful. And this is for like, everybody be careful what you're allowing your head to listen to mm. like these kind of things and i remember you saying it before in one of our shows before roger mm. it leaves kind of like for social media and for like um technology it's your footprint but it's also kind of an algorithm isn't it yeah, yeah oh yeah, you yeah. like yeah. this oh, oh yeah, yeah have yeah, a listen yeah, yeah. to this girl have a listen to this person <sighs> yeah man. and before you know it, you're so indoctrinated with listening to so much different shows mm. that kind of like change your morals and beliefs to be like well, that's mm. okay because everybody else is doing it. Yeah. Like, the, mm, but you know what? It's, it's the norm huge, now. Huge, your algorithms have been been shaping in people's lives and it's tough, man. I get it, man. Yeah. And it's good information because sometimes I, I, I geek out in history and I love my my, 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 my algorithms because all the history stuff comes up there. Yeah. I'm a boring guy. It's either sports history or um, technology. That's that's yeah. my YouTube that come over there. But your people are going, yo, all these, you know me, black men are complaining about black women. They're going, but the thing is, your algorithms pointing that way. I don't see yeah. that on my algorithm. You know what I mean? Yeah. But listen, let's let's, 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 get, let's get let's get a bit further. With twenty four men, eleven athletes, five entertainers, eight regular guys. Bro, to know. I just realised I didn't remember that part. I gave the list. <laughs> Can we rewind that a little bit back, so Because like, <laughs> already some guys are sitting down there like, oh, these these are. I fit that category. <laughs> so <laughs> if you're chef, you don't get that. Following the number for years now. So, uh... They said you slept with 24 men, 11 athletes, <laughs> 5 entertainers, 8 regular guys. Now you up to 35. Hmm? I keep a list in my phone. Why is that a lot? I don't... I, I, was, it, was a whistle. It no, I'm just a whistle. No. Phone, no. <laughs> I mean, you said athletes don't use condom. But, if, so 10 guys, was, was that? So you, Nine you guys 24. In, no, 11. You 11, had, you 11. 11 guys in, in 5, five years? years? Yeah. Okay. I mean, is there is there is there, is there a number you're trying to get half a hundred? I mean, you what you going for? How are you gonna ask me if I'm trying to get half a hundred when I've been sitting here talking to you for almost two goddamn hours? You don't got so you idea who so, I am. So thirty six, so thirty six, and that's it. Or are you looking to go back? Would you be willing to go back and get one of those thirty six and make it's it thirty five? Don't add a body. It... Hey, don't add a body. Okay, unless you're trying to add a body. So thirty six will. <laughs> don't be... worry about. Listen, listen. 30, Don't worry about it. 36, unless you're worried about it. Would any of those guys that you previously have slept with? I have to, I have to pause there. I, have to pause there. <laughs> I, I, I can't. Do you know, mate? When I was watching this by myself, do you know the cringe? I'm. A, you know what it felt like to me. I don't eat pork. But you know when you go to someone's house, you're like, you're hungry. You want some of this, and you see the plate, and it's like pork and rice, and you're like. Pork and rice, bro. It's pigs in blanket, bro. It's yeah, pig, it's pigs in blanket, and there's got no front here, go. And you're like, and some black pudding. <laughs> you know what it is? I'm gonna put it straight, and and I'm married, so I'm gonna put it straight. I love. I've been raised by a black woman. I was raised by my two sisters, and my nans, my nan, mm -hmm. and all the rest. I have so much love, admiration, and respect for black women mm -hmm. in my life and the surrounding communities. There's mothers that are not even my mum who amen, help support amen, me amen, and amen, raise amen, and amen. you know help me to become the man I've come today. To see someone like this. Belittle the work they've done in our lives. Yeah. I'm not into violence. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm not going to say someone needs to slap her. But I feel like 14 churches need to get all of their holy oil and baptize her and frizzle out that piece of rented hair and make her realize this ain't okay, man. Yeah. yeah, yeah like, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, sorry, yeah. man. Ladies, yeah. ladies, ladies. Let me just keep it 100. And the thing is, guys. people are not that extreme, but they take elements of this and they go on the streets like, so that's the thing. Yeah, is. And you got these pretty, and there are some young, beautiful, pretty young ladies that will, will mash it themselves. And I'm afraid they can't leave that abusive guy. 
You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? They can't show. She's she's lived to tell a tale from going through them situations and not being in the situation of rape, of being battered, yeah. being bruised, and whatever. And it's 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 playing around with something, which, bro, it's, you know what I mean? Bro, there's so it, much. It, there's so there's so bro, so much. Listen, and man. I, th- I think, and this is where we all, as a community of people, need to rise up. Too long, and I'll be honest with you. Too long. There's been platforms for the last couple of years where podcasts and shows like this have been acceptable and it's just been part of the narrative where yeah man that's how it goes man yeah yeah yeah. and so for today me i'm like you know what i'll go against the grain and i don't care if you got any hate for me on this one it's nasty call it as it is okay it's nasty it's dusty she nasty she needs some she needs some repentance needs some rubbing and she needs a lot of detto what needs to happen is some support because mentally it, it can't be like five guys in in, in she must one cry year. At night. She must Did you say five guys? Like five guys in, in no, five years. Eleven, 11 yeah, guys in five years. In five years, eleven. You listen. You don't even need to do some math to realize that's just wrong. Eleven guys in five years, which means Bro, ele- two, ten men, two wives in a lifetime is a lot, you know. Yeah, <laughs> dude, that's, that's emotional. Open now, you know, bro. Dude, let alone like that's what I said. One wife and dumb blood, like yo, go past the one, like bro, like. That, that, that's a lot of work, you know. You, and you know what? The truth is because she's sitting down there smiling and laughing about it. And I'm thinking, ladies, you need to respect yourselves, man. Like, I, you know, he's actually, let me change what I'm going to say quickly. I'm not reforming. But if your life's not wanting to get into a relationship and be taken serious and respected and looked after and blah, 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 then live your truth. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then don't complain that there's no good men out there mm-hmm. or there's no men that's prepared to support you and look after you mm-hmm. when that is your track record and that mm-hmm. is your lifestyle. Because what you're saying to guys is, mm. you're not trustworthy. Mm-hmm. You're not someone sustainable. You're mm. not no one who can invest in. Because mm. remember, as guys, man, we, we, as hard as we are and as tough as we, you know, with them Shay Shay arms and, and Shay Shay forehead, some guys are vulnerable. A lot of us as guys are vulnerable. And there's some days we want to come home and be like, you know what? The last person I need to fight with is the queen of the house who meant to be there to like so many things, but I just want to relax and be comfortable. To come back home and be like, are you shoes with them? Mm. Like, there's 35 guys before, right? Mm. And I'm meant to be 36 in the end. Like, don't tell me it's the builder because everything's fixed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah right. insecure, man. You, you, you got to be insecure, yeah, and you yeah, would yeah, have to be. You know what I'm saying? So she, she, she ain't got much future. Let, let's close off because I don't talk. We, yeah. we, 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 bro, well, you, you see this one, this one video, you know, yeah, bro. we didn't even get yeah, to the second video. You said, bro, we have, that's a whole nother show, bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So hit this. Would you be willing to, would you, husband them last day mm, i've given some second chances and it just reiterates why i don't give second chances i don't don't think that i've i don't believe that i've have, have, uh, met my guy you don't believe you met him i thought i did a couple times <laughs> are you willing to date outside your race <laughs> I can't do paint me, child. <laughs> <laughs> it should scarred me. Pink meat yeah, means this white people. Kind of fucked up, but I just Ooh. don't see myself respecting anyone that's not black. So, so, <laughs> did you hear that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you hear what you said? Ah, can you repeat that one second, sorry? <laughs> anyone that's not black. <laughs> it should scarred me. Eh, this is gonna sound kind of fucked up, but I just don't see myself language. respecting anyone that's not black. Why? The man who's supposed to lead me is black. I know that. Leading is the easy part. Following is what's hard. The man that is meant to cherish me and love me and be there for me and that was designed for me it, energetically at this moment. Again, it could change. Could never say never. Black. And I do. You had more guests in the holiday and sorry, I didn't mean to be so slack when I say that, but, <laughs> but you're you not know, having nobody leading like lead you to the water. It makes black be- it makes it- but the thing is, just that alone, no, 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 it wasn't sh- I'm not blaming Shannon for the Shannon, not, not dissing your show or whatever. So but does does her like, the comment that she makes it makes it like this like, yo, like, this is the black community, like it makes it look like a this is what we do. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's, yeah. it's like, oh, so what you're saying, all them brothers, black men have just Oh, bro. And, and you know what? Yeah, Some people yeah. might turn around and say, but as a guy, mm. they should take responsibility of and she's by knowing that kind of. Is she? Yeah. So she's so she's and, she, and, and I feel if you, if you grew up with her on, on, on the um on the non-black side of family. 
Yeah. So maybe she's he, looking he, for something then. Yo, which is I, I don't think, think maybe daddy wasn't there. Nah. And you're right. Well, but, <laughs> and and, and just, just to kind of give you more context, she does have a son. Yeah. I think he's about seven years old. She also has a dog. Uh, let's hope that it's not a female dog. Uh, but she has a dog and she has a son. Um, and quite um, happy to talk about, in many terms, about her sexual experiences uh, quite explicitly. In fact, actually, if you were to Google her, uh, the main thing you will find out about her is her body count. Yeah, man. She doesn't regret it. Mate, like, does that not make you think to yourself? <laughs> that's no. Like, that's like, what you can do now, you're so big, but, but i got two sons there. You're so, you're so, you're, you got your sons there. They'll call me with a girl now. All you do is Google them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what they do. It's, 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 no, uh, yeah. no, 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 no. That's no. what I do with my sons. Do you, do you, like, oh, what's her name? Let me Google her. Maybe nope. you, just, you take a picture of her and just put a, you put a picture into, into yeah. Google and said, let me see where you've been. You know what I'm saying? Yo, yeah, but it's so so crazy. But listen, you know what I mean, bro? Like, because I know we're going to hit out another one, man. You know what I mean? But that's for the future. But just overall, what what message are, as as a, as a, um, obviously we played this today. It's scary where where people is, and it, and the thing is, when they when we actually think, and I know sometimes we're in our four walls and nobody believes this, but you don't realize this person is an influencer, uh, yeah, and they influence young ladies. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying, you yeah. know, and what's it looking like right now for young ladies, bro? If this is the guide, you know what I think. <sighs> I, I, I get and, and she's open with the way she's, 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 she's open, she's with, open, it, yeah. open with it. And are we talking relationship? This is why it's important, guys, that we talk like this because, you know, we need to get out there whatever values are when it comes to relationships. Yeah. And the, and the thing, the problem with it as well is, um, people look at her lifestyle and will be attracted to her lifestyle. Not particularly the whole body count thing, mm. but. Yeah, lifestyle looks fun. You yeah, yeah, out Instagram, fancy restaurants. Down, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got yeah. a great physique, yeah, yeah. clothes, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Is that what I got to do to get this? And sometimes, you know what? I think the problem is we live in such a materialistic world nowadays that people are so drawn to certain things and certain looks that you prepare to give up your integrity, your morals for something like that. Now, what we should have gone to, but we have obviously we ran out of time, is obviously how that imp- impacts mental state of mind, mentality particularly for us as men that's 35 black men that have kind of experienced this one lady I'm not going to go into soul ties but there's so much stuff there yeah dude see drop the bomb there's so much stuff there that we could really unpack some spirit elite punk yeah, that man bro. Some legionnaire, due, due legionnaire you know legionnaire <laughs> bro due, due to time here's what i'm gonna say and i'm gonna say a message that is um, very different to what um our young um lady has said Ladies, sisters, you are made uh, in God's image. You are beautifully and wonderfully made. You are, you know, a, an amazing woman. You don't need to kind of lower your body count. You don't need to lower your yourself to kind of these kind of levels to be respected, to be seen, to be recognized. Now, I know a lot of people who are single particularly might be like, you don't know my lifestyle and blah, blah, blah. You got to be careful what you're reading into. You know what I mean? And things like this will read into a complete different path of life, a complete different change of life. And... It don't work out well. Not everyone. She's probably the one percent of people who can kind of live this type of lifestyle. I would say, what we need to start doing is start talking positive to our community, to our ladies, to our men. We need to apologize for the b words we're calling our sisters on these hip hop videos. You're not a female, dog. Okay, you are a beautiful woman, yeah, beautiful ma'am. black woman, a mother, sister, daughter, all the rest of that stuff. Respect yourself, okay, brothers. There's more to life than what's in your pants, man. You know what I mean? Like represent properly, man. And at the moment, there's a young generation growing up who thinks it's all about the bedroom and being the bedroom bully. Eventually, it's going to fall off and eventually you might leave your libido. But anyway, <laughs> besides that, fix up, man. You know mm. what I mean? Because these are going to be your daughters, your sisters, mm. your mums, your aunties, mm. your nannies. You know what I mean? Like time continues and these things don't disappear. The internet is a massive, great storer of holding these kind of things. And eventually, you have to give an account. Amen. But on your mentality, it also will have a massive impact because you will be thinking about these kind of things. You know what I mean? It will have an impact on you. So what I'm going to say is we've got more to come because of our time. We've kind of ran out of time, but respect <sighs> yourself, guys, man. If you don't respect yourself, no one else will. And you'll be on Shannon's show trying to compete with someone who's already done 35 people. And there's no competition in stuff like that, man. 
Keep to your morals. Amen. Deep show, bro. <clears throat> Deep show. Hi, and thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe, you like, and you comment. And make sure that you're sharing the videos and watching so much more. We have loads of content for you. I hope you enjoy. See you soon.